next exercise is called a frog pump. You can do this unweighted, I'm doing it unweighted, um, but you can also add a dumbbell, a kettlebell, or something here on top of your hips to give you more uh, resistance, more tension, and um, a really good workout. So this is what it looks like. Same thing with this exercise, you wanna keep a posterior tilt, meaning you want your hips to be pushed up and you don't want like a curve like this. Make sure that you're really squeezing at the top. So you can do three sets of these, um, about 15 reps. And the more that you do, the more you're gonna feel it. Um, so as long as you're hitting this area and you're, and you're feeling that tension or you're feeling it contract and you're doing it right. What I want you to keep in mind though is that it's very easy to, like when I mentioned the posterior tilt, it's very easy to just arch your back in this exercise and then it's not gonna be effective. So make sure that when you're doing it, if you have to adjust in between reps, do that. Cause you wanna make sure that you're getting the most out of the workout. So again, hip tilted up and squeeze and then come back down and repeat. 